Hi everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to download your fonts and use them on your iPad and GoodNotes and also on your MacBook. So whenever you purchase a font from my shop, you do get on automatic access or you can go up here to your little bubble and go to purchases and reviews and you'll be able to download your files. I do want to mention I am doing this through Safari. It's very important that we do this through Safari. So right now we are on this how to um, PDF. So let's go ahead and download the fonts. So it is one font, but you get the TTF and the OTF. So I'm going to hit download. And when you hit download, it actually goes up here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. I'm going to go to this little arrow up here and I'm going to use iFont. So iFont is a free app that you can download from your app store. It's totally free. Actually, let me show you how you can find it. You can go to your app store. You can search iFont and it's going to be the first one right here, the light blue one. So mine says open, yours would say install. So when I tapped on the font, it actually took me, where was, where were we? It took me here. So as you can see, I have the font here on the side and it says install. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna tap install, I'm gonna hit allow and then close. And then what I have to do is I have to go to my settings app, go to general, and I'm going to go to profiles, or you can also go to profile downloaded here, and we're going to hit install. You're going to put the password and you are going to hit install, install, done. And now the font should be inside of your iPad. So let's go ahead and try it on GoodNotes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open a random page like here and I'm going to get the text box and I'm just going to put, hey, I'm using the scribble tool by the way. And I just wanna see if I have access to the Heartwork font. So let me go ahead and search for it, Heartwork, there it is. And as you can see, the font is on my GoodNotes already. Now, something I do want to say about this font. So you get the outline font well, in this specific font, right? You get the outline and the one that is filled. So if you're doing uppercase, so like let's just say I do caps locks, you get all the outlines. And if you want the ones uh, lowercase are going to give you the filled ones. So that's kind of how this font works. Um, now I'm going to show you how to transfer your font to your macbook so let me go ahead and flip you around so same thing we are going to hit download files and we're going to download our fonts i'm going to hit download i am doing this also actually i'm doing this through google chrome it's going to go down here so what i like to do is i just like to drag it to my desktop and then i go to my search bar and i search font book and all I do is, actually, I already have the font in here, so let me go ahead and trash it. So let me see if I can move it. Because mm, I already installed it. So let's go ahead and put um, remove, remove. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my font and I'm going to drag it to the font book. I'm under user. You can do it under all fonts or whatever. And then I am just going to make sure that it installed. So whenever I want to type, I'm going to now have my Heartwork font or whatever font you purchase and I can go ahead and trash this. Let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm gonna to go to Word and we are going to go ahead and see if our font worked on. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to search for the Heartwork font, which is right where is it there it is so let's go ahead and put this to like a hundred um hey there hey there so since this font has two um different ways to do it we can see that the font works so that's kind of how you can download your fonts if you have any questions feel free to reach out bye